Welcome to another video on the series Trick Shots, this time EQ. And this one is an easier EQ, but the second one, let me pause it here. This one you can open up right away at the beginning of the rate. Now you wanna watch the second video because it's gonna show you, you can't always do that. Make sure you, you can either skip ahead. But anyways, we're gonna do a mass Valkyrie here. Hi heck, this could have been a Valkyrie dive as well for, for a trick shot. But anyways, we're gonna Lalo here. It's a fresh hit on this base. I don't know what's in the CC, but it doesn't matter. I am going to bring two haste. So this side here is gonna be funneled with minions and uh, loons. And then on this side, I'm gonna put king and queen over here, try to wall break in, wizard up there, Valk's right in the core. Now the reason why you bring a jump, an earthquake is because see a jump spell would not reach the town. I mean, it would reach the town hall, but the Valkyries probably would just circle around. Um, EQ definitely helps out a bit, but here comes the EQ first because you know what? I can do it first and um, no problem memo. So look at these haste placements, I'm just showing you you got to make sure you get the haste right so the first one here it's not as big a deal the second this one over here you got to make sure the haste covers this archer tower so we can get to the air defense um, on this first one those are the test loons it all that has to get is to the wizard tower so it's a good thing I have the haste there. Otherwise, I would not have gotten that air, uh, ex, um, air defense down. If I didn't get the air defense down, that means less um, funneling, less productivity on my minions. There drops the minions. Earthquake is down. And here is kind of becoming soon my king and queen. Yes, I got a new haircut if you noticed. Ooh, 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 ooh. Anyways. So, why is this a trick shot where earthquakes are very valuable, very valuable indeed, and they really make great pathing for Valkyries. Now, when you're doing these kind of mass Valkyries, um, it is very useful to use the earthquake. King, unfortunately, got stuck on the wall. He died very fast, um, very, very fast, had quite a bit of damage on the king. Thankfully, though, the queen stayed alive doing some nice work and with her ability of course you always save the ability to the very end otherwise you will get in trouble it will come find you there goes the ability because i went to the very end she was able to get down the expo if i saved it she would not have gotten a couple extra shots now here comes the valkyries and the great thing here is guys you don't even have to clear the c i mean the hounds in the cc so not a big deal loon doesn't really matter because um Valkyries move so fast and so quickly. Here drops the heal spell. Now, very nice heal. The heal is covering the EA hit and all these outside perimeter structures. I do drop the rage. They do split, but it's okay. No matter. Everything's going to pass right in. Because of the earthquake, it's just going to go right to the core. And the big thing is they go to the town hall. If there was a jump spell, it was highly likely they would have just circled to the bomb towers, to the expos. And that is a crush and a half with a nice 66% on the attack. Now, we're getting to the good stuff. This is precise EQ. Now, why is this a trick shot? Well, look at this. Same sort of general strategy. This time, though, I'm bringing a rage, and uh, again, I don't know what's in the CC, but no matter. I'm going to do the Lalo um, on um, the three o'clock side and my heroes at six. And the reason I do that is because, see the queen over here? She would have been hurting the Lalo. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do heroes over here. Look at this, wall breaker, fail. That is, that is not good. So I was gonna do a, the barbarian wizard trick here, but he had a Tesla, I couldn't get that free army camp. Um, anyways, didn't matter in the end. I was able to put my wizard down here. He got that army camp at least and helped out a bit. Anyways, Queen's gonna get some serious value here. She's gonna make the funnel. And yet again, you wanna wait to the very end on the Queen ability. Wait to the very end. That She gets the most value if you wait. That means she can lock on and get as many of her phased hits as possible. There she takes down the Expo. And she's gonna get one more shot. Gonna be able to take down that Elixir Collector. Now, I know it's a damage CC, but you know what? I have nothing to do, so I just have to bring in my Lalo. Now let me pause. I'm gonna rage here. So the funneling wise, I wanna make sure I do two, three, three. So I wanna make sure the loons go from um, 
the archer tower to the mortar and then hit that um, air defense. If I put them all in the cannon, they, I would have had too much of a split here. You see that? I wanted to make sure I funneled the cannon first and that's exactly what I did. So I did hound first, then two, three, three. So I'm gonna rage up and then look what's gonna happen here, guys. And I have three loons for this archer tower. Cannon drops and just exactly the path and I want. It goes to the wizard tower, then they go to the air defense, and then after the air defense, they're actually gonna hit the expo. Like they got way more value than I thought, even with three baby dragons on them. Three baby dragons, witches, all on there, and they were able to get this base down to smithereens. Now, at this point, of course, I don't quite have the funnel. I was thinking, what am I gonna do? And this is why I did not put the earthquake down right away. I didn't know what side would funnel better. I thought maybe I'd have to break on, on the CC side or maybe on the queen side. So, I decided I was going to come and use um, Valkyries to clear these two buildings out for the funnel. So I used five Valkyries with the Rage. Now, I didn't plan on doing that. Um, I thought maybe uh, my loons would do a little bit better, but um, I needed the funnel, guys. I needed the funnel. So here comes the Valkyries. I made sure I placed them a little farther so they target this side. Here goes the Rage. With five Valkyries, look what they're able to do. Get down both four structures and I EQ right here. That's where the EQ go belongs because now the funnel's made. Now the Valkyries will go to the Builder Hut, to the Cannon, and to the Warden, then swoop on into the Town Hall. You see that? That is why I didn't say, if I broke over here, it would have caused problems at the early or beginning of the raid. I didn't quite know which side of the funnel best. This one, I came in and uh, is gonna work out very nicely. Here comes the Valkyries, Max Valkyries in the CC. I got a heal spell outside of range of the Infernos. So doing great work protecting, protecting against the EA and the CC and the King and all that stuff. So I make sure they under heal. Then I drop my Rage down at a perfect location. They hop on into the uh, Town Hall. Now, if there's just a jump there, guys, they would probably just circle around the Town Hall. And that is a trick shot using Earthquake. Make sure you give it a go. Try the strategy out. It works well. I've been playing with it recently. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching. Please, if you have um, videos, uh, trick shot videos, send them to me on my Discord or email me. I have the links in the description below. Anything from barbarians to in any troop that does something interesting. Maybe you put a baby dragon down and it lasts through, through the whole raid, right? Put it at the beginning or you have a wizard or maybe you have ice wizards still. Who knows what it is? Send them to me. Spread the word and I will highlight you. Thanks for watching. Halo out.